हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई होप यू लाइक माई वीडियोज इफ यू लाइक माई वीडियोज प्लीज लाइक एंड सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल इंटरनेशनल मैथमेटिक्स ओलम्पियाड आई एम ओ क्लास थ्री क्वेश्चन पेपर टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी दिस इज द मार्किंग स्कीम अन सिलेबस प्लीज टेक ए स्क्रीन शट लॉजिकल रिजनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर वन सेलेक्ट द कम्बिनेसन ऑफ नंबर सो दैट लेटर्स आर अरेंज अकॉर्डिंगली टू फॉर्म ए मीनिंगफुल इंग्लिश वर्ड लेटर्स आर गिवेन आई सी आर एच ए द वर्ड फॉर्म चेयर सी एच ए आई आर सो ऑप्शन ए इज करेक्ट टू फोर फाइव वन थ्री क्वेश्चन नंबर टू स्टडी द गिवेन पैटर्न एंड टेल द नंबर ऑफ कॉप्स इन पैटर्न टेन पैटर्न वन थ्री कॉप्स टू फाइव कॉप्स थ्री सेवन कॉप्स सो दीज आर इंक्रीज बाई टू क्वेश्चन पूछा है टेंथ पैटर्न में कितना कप होगा द नंबर ऑफ कप विल बी टेन इंटू टू प्लस वन पैटर्न नंबर इंटू टू प्लस वन दिस इज पैटर्न वन सो वन इंटू टू प्लस वन थ्री दिस इज पैटर्न टू सो टू इंटू टू प्लस वन फाइव दिस इज पैटर्न थ्री थ्री इंटू टू प्लस वन सेवन सिमिलरली इन पैटर्न टेन टेन इंटू टू प्लस वन ट्वेंटी वन ऑप्शन बी इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री हुई ऑफ द फॉलोइंग सेप्स इज मिसिंग इन द गिवेन फिगर सेप्स आर गिवेन स्क्वायर कोन सर्कल सिलेंडर दीज आर स्क्वायर दीज आर कोन्स दीज आर सर्कल्स बट देर इज नो सिलेंडर सो ऑप्शन डी इज करेक्ट क्वेश्चन नंबर फोर फाइंड द मिरर इमेज ऑफ द गिवेन फिगर This is the given figure. Mirror is placed vertically, so figure will be formed here. Regarding this shape, option A is correct. All options are cancelled. Question number five: If day before yesterday was Sunday, then day after tomorrow will be dash. Day before yesterday, Sunday. Yesterday, Monday. Today, Tuesday. Tomorrow will be Wednesday and day after tomorrow Thursday. So option D is correct. Question number six. Dash is third to the right of sixth boy from the right end. This is the given figure, and this is the right end. Sixth boy from right end is R. Now question is asked. Third to the right of R. That is. U. Option D is correct. Question number seven. If dog is called rat, rat is called cat, cat is called horse, then which of the following animals loves cheese the most? We know that rat loves cheese, but here rat is called cat. So option A is correct. Cat. Question number eight. In which of the following figures? The given figure is exactly embedded as one of its parts. This figure will exactly embedded here. So option D is correct. Question number nine: Five groups of dash parrots each can be formed from the given parrots. Total number of parrots twenty. We have to form five groups. So twenty divided by five equal to four. There will be four parrots in each group. Option D is correct. Question number ten. There is a certain relationship between the pair of figures on either side of proportion. Identify the relationship between the given pair and find the missing figure. Outer figure has six sides. Inner figure has four sides. Difference between sides of both figures: six minus four equal to two. This is two. Following similar pattern, outer figure has eight sides. Inner figure has three sides. Difference between their sides: eight minus three equal to five. Option B is correct. Mathematical reasoning. Question number eleven. The weight of one triangle is two hundred fifty gram. What is the weight of one square? It is given weight of one triangle equal to two hundred fifty gram. So weight of six triangles equal to two hundred fifty into six. 
that is equal to 1500 gram. 4 squares equal to 6 triangles equal to 1500 gram. So 1 square equal to 1500 divided by 4 equal to 375 gram. Option A is correct 375 gram. Question number 12. Mohan has a 100 rupees note with him. Which of the following items he cannot buy? In option A, cost of both 65 plus 25 equal to 90. 90 is less than 100, so he can buy both. In option B, cost of both 80 rupees plus 15 rupees equal to 95 rupees. 95 is less than 100. So both item he can buy. In option C, 70 plus 35 equal to 105. So 105 rupees is more than 100 rupees. Clearly he cannot buy both items. In option D, 50 plus 50 equal to 100. He can also buy both. Direction is given for question number 13 and 14. The given graph shows the number of cupcakes sold by 5 friends. This is the given graph. Horizontal line shows names of 5 friends and vertical line shows number of cupcakes sold. Question number 13. How many more cupcakes Anju and Ram together sold than Payal? Number of cupcakes Anju sold 12, Payal 18, Akash 6, Kajal 12, Ram 15. Ram and Anju both sold. 15 plus 12 equal to 27 cupcakes. Pile sold 18. So difference between 27 and 18 equal to 9. Option C is correct. Anju and Ram both together sold 9 cupcakes more than pile. Question number 14. Dash sold 1 dozen more cupcakes than Akas. Akas sold 6 cupcakes. 12 more than 6 equal to 18. Here, Pyle sold 18 cupcakes. So, correct answer is D. Pyle. Pyle sold 1 dozen more cupcakes than Akas. Question number 15. Which number sentence describes the given number of lamps? This question is designed to ask total number of lamps. There are 4 groups and each group has Five lamps. So 4 into 5 equal to 20 lamps. Option C is correct. Question number 16. Compare and fill in the box. We have to find out relationship between both sides. Left hand side is smaller than or greater than or equal to right hand side or cannot be determined. Calculating left hand side 1245 plus 879 plus 2875 equal to 4999. Similarly, in right hand side, 1008 plus 7932 equal to 8940. Subtracting 3941 from 8940, we get 4999. So both the number in left hand side and right hand side are equal. Option C is correct, equal. Question number 17. Which of the following sets of numbers are arranged in the ascending order? Option D is correct. 8039 is smaller than 8065. Both are smaller than 8435. Also, they are smaller than 8472. Question number 18. What is the difference between the temperatures shown on thermometers P and Q? Temperature in thermometer P 80 degree Celsius. In thermometer Q 84 degree Celsius. So difference between the temperature on both the thermometer P and Q equal to 84 minus 80 equal to 4 degrees Celsius. Option B is correct. Question number 19. What fraction of the given figure is unshaded? 
this is the given figure there are total 4 into 4 16 squares taking two half square as a one square we get total seven squares those are colored so unshaded squares 16 minus 7 equal to 9 so fraction of unshaded square 9 by 16 9 is the unshaded square and 16 is the total square option a is correct question number 20 there are dash thousands in 2465 this is 2465 2 is in thousand place so option a is correct 2 there are two thousands question number 21 ram has these balloons what fractions of total balloons are white total number of balloons 12 white balloons 5 so fraction of white balloon to the total balloon equal to 5 by 12 option a is correct 5 by 12 question number 22 three types of coffee packing are available in a shop if tanya wants to buy a coffee packing with cylindrical shape then which of the following packings can she buy x and z both are cylindrical shape so option d is correct both x and z Question number 23. Radhika bought two shawls and a jeans. She gave two 2000 notes to the shopkeeper. How much amount will she get back? Radhika gave two 2000 notes. So total amount she gave 2000 into 2, 4000 rupees. Cost of one shawl equal to 1450. So cost of two shawls equal to 1450 into 2 equal to 2900 cost of jeans 799 rupees so cost of both items 2900 plus 799 equal to 3699 so the amount she has to get 4000 minus 3699 equal to 301 option d is correct 301 rupees question number 24 a fisherman caught 3216 fish in the morning and 1245 fish in the evening how many fish he caught on that day number of fish he caught in morning 3216 and in evening 1245 so total number of fish he caught 3216 plus 1245 equal to 4461 option c is correct question number 25 mrs sina distributed 135 pencils among her 15 students how many pencils will each student get in this question we have to divide 135 by 15 this is equal to 9 Similarly, we can say 15 9 ja 135. Option D is correct. Question number 26. Veer has two bags each weighing 124 kg. Kirti has three bags each weighing 76 kg. Who has more weight and by how much? Here, one bag equal to 124 kg. So, two bags equal to 124 into 2 equal to 248 kilogram. Each bag Kirti has 76 kilogram. So, weight of three bags equal to 76 into 3 equal to 228 kilogram. Clearly, 248 is greater than 228. 248 minus 228 equal to 20 kilogram. So, Veer's bag has more weight by 20 kg. Option A is correct. Question number 27. Amit drinks 16 glasses of water in one day. If he drinks the same amount of water in every day, then how much water does he drink in one week? Number of glasses of water Amit drinks in one day, 16. One week equal to 7 days. So, in 7 days, he drinks 
16 into 7 equal to 112 glasses. Option D is correct. Question number 28. A plant was 3 meter 42 centimeter tall. It has grown by 13 meter 89 centimeter more. How tall is the plant now? The height of plant before grown 3 meter 42 centimeter. It has grown by 13 meter 89 centimeter. Adding 13 meter 89 centimeter to 3 meter 42 centimeter, we get 17 meter 31 centimeter. So option D is correct. 17 meter 31 centimeter. The plant is 17 meter 31 centimeter tall now. Question number 29. Kunal watched cricket match from 9:40 p.m. to 11:30 p.m. How long did he watch the match? Time duration from 9:40 p.m. to 11:30 p.m. Subtracting 9:40 from 11:30. Here 3 is smaller than 4. So he borrowed 6. 6 plus 3 9. 9 minus 4 equal to 5. Here 10 is remain so 10 minus 9 equal to 1. 1 hour 50 minutes. 1 hour equal to 60 minutes. So 60 plus 50 equal to 110 minutes. 110 minutes he was the match. Question number 30. Radha has some mangoes. She packed 23 mangoes each in 108 packets. She found that following mangoes are left over. How many mangoes does he have in all? Total number of packets 108 and there are 23 mangoes in each packet. So total number of mangoes in all packets 108 into 23 equal to 2484. These are 8 mangoes. Those are left after packing. Adding 8 to 2484. We get 2,492 mangoes. Option B is correct. 2,492 mangoes she have in all. Archiver section. Question number 31. Study the following figure and fill in the blanks. This is the given figure. Question is asked. There are dash standing, dash slanting and dash horizontal lines in the given figure. These are Two standing lines. So standing lines are two. Option D and C correct. A and B cancelled. Here each triangle has three slanting lines. So five triangles, three into five equal to fifteen slanting lines. Here each triangle has two slanting lines. So three triangles has three into two six slanting lines. These are also two slanting lines. So total number of slanting lines 23. So option D is correct. C cancelled. These are 6 horizontal lines. In option D there are 6 horizontal lines. Question number 32. Arrange the shaded fractions of the given figures in ascending order. These are the given figures P, Q and R. In P. There are total 5 triangles and 2 triangles are shaded. So the fraction is 2 by 5. In Q, 3 triangles are shaded out of 5 triangles. So the fraction of shaded triangles 3 by 5. Similarly, this is 4 by 5. Clearly, ascending order is 2 by 5, 3 by 5 and 4 by 5. Option B is correct. P, Q, R. Question number 33. If necklace minus ring equal to 7, bangle plus bangle equal to 18 and bangle into necklace equal to 108, then find the value of necklace plus bangle plus ring. Let the necklace is N, ring is R, bangle is B. Here it is given 2B equal to 18. So 1B equal to 18 divided by 2 equal to 9. Here it is given B into N equal to 108. 
in left hand side both are multiplied also we know the worth of angle that is b b equal to 9 so dividing 108 by 9 we can get n 108 divided by 9 equal to 12 so n is 12 n is 12 12 minus r equal to 7 this is the sum we know that subtracting one number we can get other number so subtracting 7 from 12 we can get r 12 minus 7 equal to 5 so r is 5 n plus b plus r equal to 12 plus 9 plus 5 equal to 26 option b is correct question number 34 select the incorrect option this is 2309 its number name is 2309 b 5078 its expanded form is this is 0 into 100 equal to 0 so the answer is 5000 plus 70 plus 8 this is also correct place value of 6 in 5640 is 6 this is wrong place value is 6 into 100 600 because 6 is in 100 place option c is correct as it is an incorrect statement similarly option d 284 this is even number because the digit in units place this is 4 4 is even so the number is even question number 35 Doug started his journey for town p at 13 45 hours after driving one hour 50 minutes he stopped at town q he stopped at town q for 15 minutes to take rest again after driving two hours 25 minutes he stopped at town R for 25 minutes. If he takes another 1 hour 15 minutes to reach town P, then at what time he reached at town P? He started at 1345 hours. He continued his journey 1 hour 50 minutes and reached at Q. So 1345 hours plus 1 hour 50 minutes, adding both, we get 1495 hours. 1 hour equal to 60 minutes taking 1 hour to hour column we get 1535 hour subtracting 60 from 95 we get 35 1 hour added to 14 here he takes 15 minutes rest adding 15 minutes to 1535 hours we get 1550 hours so he started from q 1550 hours his journey continued for 2 hours 25 minutes adding 2 hours 25 minutes to 1550 hours we get 1775 hours here subtracting 60 minutes from 75 minutes we get 15 minutes so he reached at r 1815 hours here also he takes 25 minutes rest adding 25 minutes we get 1840 hours so he started from r 1840 hours his journey continue for 1 hour 15 minutes so adding 1 hour 15 minutes to 1840 hours we get 1955 hours this is 24 hour clock time but in all options there are 12 hour clock time so subtracting 12 hours from 1955 hours we get 755 hour in option a it is 755 hour so option a is correct Thanks for watching. Please like, share and subscribe the channel.